Hello family, this is Pastor Gideon. This is Kingdom Matters. If you are interested in the word of God, you are in the right place. Have you seen this kind of things lately on your social media timelines and on your television? I am here now. We am in here. Uh, we will in here, we will do things. If we buy a Benz, then they shout. Uh, if they buy a car, then they make noise. Uh, by now, you see you see my face on, like I can't move You there, there, you sleep. Uh, yeah? You there, there, we are the key woman, you know. You know? You see the cows way they down here. Another one day here, it will go down right now. This one way they here. You understand? Uh -huh. This one be the red cow. This one, you have a mini. You have a mini. So if you go go down this night, I'm telling you, this week, this month, December, we will go kill them, sir. Talk whatever you want to talk. So if you want to be part of the billionaires clubs, the big men are inside, they are working. They are buffing things now. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you want to join, yes, the billionaires club in Christ. Uh -huh. Abraham do this. And he, is a close, he was very close to God. Isaac do it. Moses do it. Today they are not there. So me, I'm there to take over from them. You understand what I mean? Solomon did it. Israel, they did it. And I've been in Israel. They are still doing it. And you are there saying what? Muslims are doing it. Are you getting it? So if you know, you know. If you know the ground, you know the ground. So we are here doing. So if you want to succeed, if you don't do all this and you can't so die your hand to mouth money, that is what you'll be getting. But if you want to have excess, you want to get to. If not, so why, why? Don't go test go to Mecca to pray. I want to ask you. Do you know how many cows they kill in Salah Day? Hmm? Yeah, that's so why Muslims are doing well. You will see somebody selling cocoa, but he will build a house. And a pastor from a Christian pastor will go and rent that house and be living inside. Jimmy and Kwan. So change your mind and make money. God bless you. You are blessed. Today is 20. I think we enter 24th, eh? Uh huh. It's Friday, 24th November. We start from 23rd. We are still in the night. You are not sleeping today. We lie. You don't go to sleep. We will do our thing. Allah has set our sacrifice. And greater things will start happening before we we'll rest. God bless you so much. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. This is the, the temple of Akinje Barakel, where we are building the temple. Uh, where here will be open 31st night. Where the altar of Barakel will be here. And then you will just come and place your prayer request here. I'm telling you, it will be fire. Tonight, I want to do something for my followers. I'm coming to Facebook Live only seven minutes. Only seven minutes. I have a commanding power. I want to release money for my people today. Have my picture on your phone. Okay? That is a picture. I also have it on my phone. Yes, I just have this picture. You're going to hold the picture today. Hold your phone. Any amount you are looking for in your business from somebody, I'm telling you, write it down. I will come only seven minutes, 9 p.m. Ghana time. Today, today, I will just come and release the commanding powder. You see how the picture is doing wonders? Yes. I'm more than a spirit. Yes. So watch me today, tonight, tonight, tonight. I just want to bless my people. I tell you, my altar will raise billionaires this November. My altar will raise billionaires this 2023. I want to bless you some money so that 31st night or the coming program, next two, three weeks program, You'll be here. So be ready. Don't forget. I'll be live 9 p.m. exactly. By 9 7, I close. Only seven minutes I'm spending. That is what the Spirit asked me to do. Did anything I'll sound the power familiar for you. to you? It's only for success. Of you course. have to be blessed. I have things in, Jesus like, mighty name. in the name you. of Jesus. God bless you. God Father, bless you. Son, Amen. and Holy Spirit. And by the way, this so called man of God is addressed as an apostle. He calls himself an apostle. Now, when people see things like that, they fall for the scheme and follow blindly. They think, oh, because he's saying amen, he's an apostle, I hear in the name of Jesus, then that's Christianity. But this new crop of spiritualists, in quote, are imposters. They don't serve Christ at all. Now, that's why you don't see his purpose in them. You don't see the purpose of Christ in them. You don't see the word of Christ in them. You don't see them focus on Jesus Christ. And that is why we say it is a scam. They use the name of Jesus Christ, but they don't represent what he represents in any form at all. Now, he should have just used his name and said, this is a Cacho Bilonius Club or a Cacho Bilonius Shrine, something. They are buffing things now. You understand what I mean? 
Mm -hmm. So if you want to join, yes, the billionaires clap in Christ. Uh -huh. Now, if he chooses that route, he won't get the cloud. So let me use Christ. But there's no resemblance of Christ in what he does. Now, these things used to be rare, but now they are everywhere. Carry mantles, put the talit on your neck, quote Bible verses, use Bible stories, mention Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and anything that resembles Christianity or the Bible. And then you'll be able to convince the unsuspecting that you are of Christ. But these people, they have no part in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm saying that again. They don't belong to Jesus Christ. One of the easiest ways to spot them is that they never talk about salvation. Never. They never talk about Jesus Christ and his teachings. They never talk about eternity. Everything about them is here and now. It's about enjoying now. It's about protection now. It's about here on earth. Refuse to be poor. All my followers, I say refuse to be poor today. Refuse to be poor tomorrow. Refuse to be poor forever. Say, I will be rich today. I'll be rich tomorrow. And I'll be rich forever. Blessing is not a curse. Poverty is the cause of all problems. Because of poverty, you do things that you are not supposed to do. So I'm here to bless you. This is what I'm called for. Today, after the seven minute prayer yesterday, my, my, my messages are coming. My son just sent me a message now. That papa, my house that I wanted to sell for about three years in America, they are not buying. Today, a friend of him just called him to offer $150,000. Which he was selling that house for even 80, 90,000 people were not buying. And the money was paid. My daughter also say she received 40, 46,000 K. This one say this one. This. Go to Facebook and watch their testimony. We are talking about power. We are talking about power and authority. Okay, so as you can see. Yes, yeah, so okay. where are you? This is another cow. Today is Thursday, 20 what? Uh, 20, 23rd November. Follow who no road. Spirituality is not a joke. This is another cow. Uh, Psalms are there. This night we are killing seven cows. For the billionaires clap in Christ. Either you like it or not, my people must make money. I'm telling you, I don't joke. I take my time to do the proper thing. So this is another cow that is coming down. There are some there already. So tonight, it's for my people, the billionaire clap people. I'll be calling you guys one by one. You pray, ask your wishes, and your wishes will be granted. That's don't it. take spiritual matter for joke. Okay? If you don't sacrifice, you can't make it. That money, that billionaire you want to be. If you don't do sacrifices, you can't do what? You can't do it. You will just be getting hand to mouth. Slow, 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 slow. So that's another cow there. Yes. That's another heavy one there. That will be going down this night. So God bless my people. Follow who no road. And follow who no ground. Yes. Cow is a very powerful animal. Hey, show. Cow is a very powerful animal. Then Wait, 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 don't run away. Don't rush. I want to pray for you. I'm coming from the mountain. I'm here at the cemetery junction. I want to pray for you. As I pour this oil in this horn, see, anyone who pray that you will die this year will die in the name of Jesus. Anyone, every spirit that caused premature death, accident, young people are dying day and night. Any spirit in your family that kill people, hey, I separated you from that spirit in the name of Jesus. I stand here in this cemetery. I block the way of death. I block the road of death to you. And as I hold this horn to pray for you, by fire, by force, hey, anyone who is watching me, this year you will buy your car. As I anoint my car here and pray for all my followers, I say in the name of Jesus, 
you will also buy your car. If you believe, say, I receive it in the name of Jesus, you will not die young like the way people die young in your family. You will not die premature like the way people die premature in your family. You will not die before your time like the way people die before their time. You will never be poor in the name of Jesus. As someone anointed David in a horn together with oil, hey, and David become great. I anoint my car on behalf of you that it is well with you. Anyone who believes, hey, I say it is well with you. You will buy your own car. You will buy your own house. You will buy your own land. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Share this prayer and your life will never be the same. Make sure you share up to 70 people. You are blessed. You are blessed. This is your practical apostle from the prayer mountain. It is well with you. It is well with you today. It is well with you tomorrow. It is well with you forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They never, and I mean they never, they come with a seducing tongue promising you protection, abundance, and everything that everybody would desire to have. And the second way you are going to spot them is that there is always one angel or the other they call on to. Yes, the moment you see a man who is supposed to be a man of God projecting one angel, mentioning his name, building altars for them. Listen, you are dealing with a spiritualist who is practicing spiritism in the name of Christianity. If, if you see him mention Jesus Christ, it doesn't mean it is Christianity. They actually dine with devils in secret and come up to mention the name of Jesus in the open for clouds. God bless you. God bless you. This is the, the temple of Akinje Barakel where we are building the temple. Uh, where here will be open 31st night. Where the altar of Barakel will be here. And then you will just come and place your prayer request here. I'm telling you, it will be fire. God bless you. God bless you. This is the, the temple of Akinje Barakel, where we are building the temple, uh, where here will be open 31st night, where the altar of Barakel will be here. And then you will just come and place your prayer request here. I'm telling you, it will be fire. It's just for the cloud. It's just for the numbers. Now, if he came out saying that he's handling a shrine, how many people will follow him? Well, of course, that is why he is doing what he's doing. Now, to follow these people is the shortest cut to distraction. They know people are desperate and they take advantage of that. That's why they always promise protection, abundance, prosperity and all that. They are part of the last day deception and a reason to tighten up your belt. And when I say your belt, I'm not talking about your physical belt. I'm talking about the belt of truth. You must tighten it up. If you joke with the word of God, these wolves in sheep clothing will take you captives with their sweet talks. 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 2 says, Now, the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, without missing words, listen, these are doctrines of devils. These are seducing spirits. Listen, they are peddling evil agenda of darkness to lure people after them and to enrich themselves. They speak lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Now, the Lord Jesus also spoke about them in Matthew 24, verse 4 to 5. He says, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So, the fact that they came saying Jesus is the Christ doesn't mean that they are speaking the truth. The fact that they brought Jesus Christ doesn't mean that is the end. No, many will come saying Jesus is Christ. They will mention Jesus Christ, Father, they will do all those things. Yet, they are going to deceive people, so beware. They mention Jesus, but full of deception. Watch out. This words of the Lord also mean that the fact that someone claims to be a messenger of Christ doesn't mean that he can deceive you. So watch out again. They are out there in their numbers. Some of them even have PhDs. I'm telling you, but they are not of the Lord. The Lord doesn't know them. They know that if they have PhDs, you say, mm, that is an anointed man of God. He is learned. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't mean anything. Now let's come to the sacrifices. Yeah, we did a very key woman, you know. You know, you see the cows where they down here. Another one day here, go go down right now. This one where they here. You understand? Man, this one be the red cow. This one, you have a mini. You have a mini. So if you go go down this night, I'm telling you, this week, this month, December, we go give him some talk whatever you want to talk. In Christianity, Christ is the end of all sacrifices and anyone who claims to kill any animal for any sacrifice 
is denying the finished work of Christ and so subsequently he is false because he has denied the ultimate thing that Jesus Christ has done for humanity, his death. Jesus Christ has ended every form of sacrifice and so there is no altar today where you can burn sacrifices to God. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 12, it says, But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, forever, sat down on the right hand of God. He sat down means that he is done and dusted. The sacrifice for obtaining anything from God has been accomplished in Jesus Christ. Forever he sat down. Romans 10, 4 says, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. He is the end. It was the law that enabled the sacrifices in the Old Testament. So for things to be right between God and the people, the people had to offer certain sacrifices. Now, Christ is the end of all sacrifices. It is the end to all such laws. That's why we don't kill animals today. That's why when you give birth in your baby dedications, you don't buy doves like they did for Jesus Christ and all the Jews until the New Testament. You don't do it because Christ has ended it all for us. Hallelujah. What about the directions in using herbs, vegetables, grains, and all that? Can we say it belongs to Christ? This is your practical apostle. I'm here at the power room. Anytime you see me here, this room is for helps. This is where the power room is. It's full of helps here. Yeah. You see the, the Gatsi soap. You see the... You see, there are things you need to protect yourself. Why Johnson Suleiman was driving a bulletproof car? If it was not that bulletproof car, like Johnson Suleiman, like they killed him, so those who don't have money to buy a bulletproof car, listen to me. Get Popo. Because of this boy who they killed, he touched me so much. With a very great talent. This what I'm coming to do is a serious protection. No gunshots. Even catalyst. No kidnapper. Nobody can take you on. What are you going to do? Get fresh Popo like this. I'm not telling you to get idol. I said get Papa. This Papa is God who created it. Even though those who fight, and this is witches, this is not from God. Even witch, who created witch? Is it not God? Is it not God who created a witch? So did God create witch to become our enemies or whatever? Is it not the same God? Your God that you are claiming. Is it not the one who created all these things that you, you think that I'm doing? Stop judging because you don't know anything. Anyone who is watching me, you know you don't have money to pay for people to guide you to buy bulletproof car like your Susile man. Listen to this video. Do it, it will help you. What are you going to do? Get fresh papa and ripe papa. This fresh one. What are you going to do? Get some Bible quotation, Psalm. Psalm 91. Whatever you are watching me from, if you can get it, I'm telling you, make sure you let somebody send you that sound. Somebody can fetch it and send it to you and get the one where you are living now. Come with that sound and get three white egg and what? A dry pepper. Dry pepper. You don't know what dry pepper can do. I'm telling you, back to sender. Anyone who scares you, anyone who do something against you for you to suffer, will send it back to them that night. There will be a spiritual bath from Friday. Now, if you didn't know this, let me make it clear to you. This is purely African traditional worship. Yes, they offer these things to their gods, and I mean small gene. And in Christ, we know that it's not any gods. They are actually demons, evil spirits that crave for those sacrifices so that they will do things for them. So long as their souls are misplaced, their souls are lost, they are glad. So those things, they are in African traditional worship. It is not Christianity. If you go to Accra, the Ghan traditionalists will put a whole cow into the sea when they are not able to catch fish in order for the, their gods, like I said, to enable them to have bumper harvest. Now, during their festival, Homowo, they will make their traditional food, quickly or kukwe, and send to the shrines for the spirits to feast. The Ashantis will do a similar thing. In the north, you often find cola at certain junctions. You will find all sorts of things being placed on the ground with grains. It is given to spirits in order to obtain their help so that you can avoid bad omens. If you think 
this is Christianity, then you have not known Christianity. You don't know the faith well. Yes, I know some will bring up the Old Testament and claim, but in the Old Testament, there were meal offerings where you offered grace. Listen to this. In the Old Testament, now before we even handle that, first, Christianity is not Judaism. In Christianity, the belief is that Jesus has ended all sacrifices of the Old Testament by his death on the cross. So there is no more sacrifices today. So if you really say you are a Christian, there's no other sacrifices that you are supposed to make to God. And then secondly, the meal offerings in the Old Testament, also known as the grain offering or the cereal offering, the meal offering was primarily made from fine flour, oil, and frankincense, and it was generally offered alongside animal sacrifices. It symbolized gratitude, dedication, and communion with God, rather than atonement for sin, which was the focus of the other sacrifices. So if you think these things where they take purple, they take maize, and then millet and other things, and they do direction in Judaism, you are totally off. This is pure demon worship according to Bible, so watch out and stay away from these imposters. To me, this is purely African traditional worship branded as Christianity or garnished with Jesus Christ, so it appears like Christianity. The reason we are calling it out is because they use the name of Jesus Christ and Christ doesn't teach this thing. And so we need to make it clear to the people of God. If they drop the name Jesus and they use their own names or other things, none of us will bother them at all. But they too, they know if they do that, they are not going to get a number. So they are going to keep using the name Jesus for cloud. So beware. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed time. Shalom.